And now, Trooper Carino, do you recognize what's up on the screen as the next <coughs> exhibit, sir? Uh, Ms. Gilman, I'm sorry, if you could scroll down just a little bit. Yes. And again, from this first page, if you could, the blue bubble is uh, from Ms. Reed, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Being from Mr. O'Keefe, is that correct? Yes. And if you could, again, uh, read from this first page as far as uh, date, time, who is speaking, and what is that? Uh, at uh, 9.49 a.m., uh, Karen says, you've really hurt me this time. 10.02 a.m., I'm sorry. This is, uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to read. I'm sorry, this has been an issue with me for eight years. It physically hurts me to see everyone else in their, yep, in their life do things for them. And I'm forced to always be the bad guy. At 10.09 a.m., Karen says, I am not the same as everybody else. Most of the time, I try to do what is healthy slash smart for them. More importantly, I try to support you and what you need. You just lashed out at me and said terrible things. I don't know I don't know how you've gone to this point with me, but I'm just trying to uh, try my hardest. You made the point, I uh, made your point, and continue to beat me down. I have a lot going on, too. Physically, I'm falling apart and trying to get answers and help. If I could stop you there, sir. If I could direct your attention to... <clears throat> my fault. Sir, if I could direct you to uh, page five. Okay. Actually, I'm sorry, bottom of page four. All right. And uh, starting with the blue bubble on the bottom of page four, again, if you could indicate as to uh, who's speaking, what is said, and the date and time. Yeah. Uh, Karen says to John at 1.21 p.m. on the 28th, maybe you can call someone. If you could continue yeah. on through page five, sir. Yeah. Uh, on the 28th at 1.46 p.m., John says, like who? At 1.47 p.m., what time are you coming here? And then there is, at 2.05, there's a message, but no content. And the next message at 2.06, sir? Yes, 206 from Karen. I don't know what time. feel kind of out of it. Just trying to clear my head. 2.06 p.m. John writes back, okay. 2.06 p.m. again. Karen says, text me later when you guys settle in later. I'm sorry, text me when you guys settle in later. John says, sure, at 2.06 p.m. again. Karen says at 2.16, I feel pretty shitty about this, uh, me. I feel pretty shitty about how this morning went down. I know you said sorry, but it really stung, especially when I've been trying pretty hard lately. I feel like a loser turning around, just coming back over after everything you said. If I could ask you to continue on to page 7, sir. Okay. At 2.17 p.m., John says, not sure what else you want me to do. I said I'm sorry, and I was out of line. I, if you prefer to stay home, I totally get it. Karen replies back at 2.17, things in my own life have been difficult too, you know. John writes back at 2.17, I know. At 2.25 p.m., tell me if you're interested in someone else. Can't think of any other reason you've been like this. From Karen. You could continue on to page 8, sir. At 2.25, John responds back, nope. Things haven't been great between us for a while. Ever consider that? That was at 226. At 229, he writes, kids are here, not in the mood to talk. And how does the defendant respond to that at the bottom of page 8? So you're not into it anymore. That's fine. But I don't want to keep trying, and you keep treating me like this at 229 p.m. If I could direct you to uh, the next page, 9. Yep. Uh, Sreed says, I'm trying to hug and kiss you this morning, and you whack me in the face with a pillow at 229. At 2.30, she says, last night, you, you're basically like, yeah, what about when we talk about the future? So why don't you just admit you're not into it so much anymore? At 2.30, oh, sorry. I was at 2.30, uh, John says, not how it went down, but okay. Now does Ms. Reed respond to that? Can you please admit your head is out of the game, out of the game with us? 
Okay. Uh, 2.32 p.m. Sick of, all, of always arguing and fighting. It's been weekly for several months now. So, yeah, I'm not as quick to jump back into being lovey-dovey as you apparently. From John. And then John again at 2.32. Oh, my God. Stop calling. Okay. Stop you there for just okay. a moment, sir. With regard to <clears throat> January 28th, um, We were also able to uh, extract a, a report specifically in regard to uh, calls received by uh, Mr. O'Keefe on that day. Yes, I was. I mean, on that date into the next date of January 29th. Yes. I approach on. Yes. Marino showing the document. Okay. You recognize that, sir? Yes, it's uh, John Keeps call log. And that's the entirety of the call log from January 28th into 29th. Is that correct? Yes, from. 28th at 9.19 a.m. to the 29th at 6.03 a.m. May I approach, John? Yes. I'm off to seek to introduce the defense when I give it. No objection. May I approach again, Your Honor? Yes. We're now showing you another document. Uh, just ask you to review that, look up when we finish. Okay. And do you recognize that, sir? Yes, this is uh, Karen Reed's call log from January 29th at 1233 a.m. to January 29th at 6.03 a.m. And those are specifically calls between the defendant and Mr. O'Keefe, correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, may I approach again, Your Honor? Yes. I'm off the seat of introduction of the minutes of the next exhibit. No objection. Thank you. Now, Trooper Garino, from the... Um, Text messages that you were just uh, testifying from. Uh, Mr. O'Keefe indicates OMG stopped calling at 2.32 uh, p.m. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Now, from your review of those uh, call logs, uh, how many times uh, did the defendant call Mr. O'Keefe on January 28th uh, from approximately 9.19 a.m. to about 2.58 p.m.? Uh, there's 18 calls from... Yeah, 9.19 to about 2.59 p.m. Those calls are listed within those records as various as far as rejected or missed or answered or things of that nature. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. How many of them are rejected? Eleven. How many of them are missed? Uh, four. And how many are answered? Three. Now, following that um, text message at 2.32 p.m. from Mr. O'Keefe to the defendant, asking her to stop calling him, does the defendant keep calling him? Yes, she does. And at some point, does Mr. O'Keefe uh, call Ms. Reed back? Yes, at about 3 p.m. on the 28th. Double check. Thank you, sir. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes. Mr. Green, I can take... Uh, each of the call logs that I want you to keep. 
Okay. Now, so if I can turn your attention back to page 10 on those text messages. With respect. Okay, so, Mr. Lally, when you put your head down and when you walk away, we can't hear you. And so uh, there won't be a record of this, so you have to keep your voice up. Well, you just said <laughs> you just put your head down and, and your voice went down. So <laughs> keep your voice up. It's really important you do so. Uh, Trooper Garino, turning your attention back to page 10 of these text messages, uh, with a uh, read from Ms. Reed's response to Mr. O'Keefe at 232. Yes, uh, so at 232 p.m., uh, she says, the why would you start with me this morning? And then followed up by 233, you're setting me up to fail. If I could turn your attention to page 11 and ask you to continue from there. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Reed says, you start, of no, uh, excuse me, you start a number of fights from your end. John, and that's at 233. At 233, John writes back, I've explained it a few times already, not doing it again. How does the defendant respond to that? So you're not into this anymore. And then John says, not into fighting all the time, correct. That's at 2.34 p.m. And if I could turn your attention to the top of page 12. Yes, at uh, 2.34, uh, Ms. Reed says, if you tell me you're interested in someone else, you will never hear from me again. You can have all the space in the world. John writes back, but there's no, uh, no content at 2.34. And then at 2.34, she says, then stop starting with me. How does Mr. O'Keefe respond to that? At 2.34, he writes back, I'm not answering, stop calling. And if you could, if I could turn your attention to uh, the top of page 13. Uh, Ms. Reed says, can you please answer after how you treated me earlier? John responds back at 2.35, Kaylee is right here. Street says, you're starting a rager with me out of nowhere, and then you tell me you're sick of fighting with me at 2.35. And she writes at 2.38, I'm going to grab a drink in a bit. If I could direct you to the top of page 14, sir. She says, can you answer, please, at 2.38. He writes back at 2.39, no, Karen, not sure why you need to announce that you're going drinking, but have fun. Karen writes back at 2.40, seeing if you want to meet me later. Can you please call me uh, right after that? <coughs> and again, if I could direct you to the top of page 15. Yeah. Uh, John writes back at 2.40, have to take him to the doctor. He has practice. Ms. Reed writes back, yeah, five minutes. Uh, John writes back at 2.43, my father just walked in. Aaron writes back, okay, can you please call me for two minutes at 2.44? The top of uh, page 16, sir. 2.44, John writes back, not right now. Aaron writes back, I'm there when anyone else needs me at 2.44. At 2.46, yes, John, you gave me utter grief this morning. I'd like you to call me for a, a minutes. And the last one from that page, sir. Yeah. At 2.47, I've been trying to get over the hump. With, our, uh, with is arguing, and now you tell me you're not into things. And if you don't want to fight weekly, but fly off the handle at 8 a.m. with me, like you're setting me up to fail. Sir, if I could uh, draw your attention to page 42. Okay. And sir, if I could ask you to start reading from the top of page 42. Yep. At 7.41 p.m., Karen writes, okay, let me know if you end up leaving. John writes back at 7.42, why, now you're not coming. Karen writes back, I'm waiting for the plumber. I actually think he's in the driveway, 7.42. John says, 7.43, we're taking Mike's car, so I'm relying on you for a ride home if he leaves. Karen writes back at 7.43, he's not going home after. John writes back at 7.43, 8 on a Friday. He may have to get Michael. And you have a plumber coming over at 8, knowing me and Papa could have handled it. Good luck. And that was a 7.44. Thank you, sir. Um, if I could direct your attention to page 49. Okay. 
if I could ask you to uh, start from the page of 49, uh, page 49, sir. 829 p.m. Yeah, but he lives uh, right down the road. John Wright's back at 830. Karen, this storm is going to be intense. Can't drive. 830, she writes back. Okay, well, if he can't, he can't. John writes back. I'll do it Monday. Karen responds at 831. Ha, I better not still have this problem on Monday. John writes back. Plan on being there. Karen writes back at 832. I'd like to know. I could take a hot shower here if I need to. John writes back. Figured you'd be in Canton until Monday. If I could direct you to the top of the next page, 51. John, I'm getting off my phone. Let me know what you're doing. Karen writes back at 833. I think the four of us together uh, is toxic to this relationship. Would like to limit it. And says, you've said so yourself for probably a year now. And John writes back at 833. Blizzard tomorrow. Nobody is going anywhere. Sir, if I could direct you to the top of page uh, 52. Okay. Uh, Karen says, maybe I'll come back late tonight. Bad snow in, uh, is in the early a.m. That's at 835. And again, 835. I'll head up there in a few minutes. Uh, let me know if you leave. John replies back, sure. And then the next one's not until 1255 a.m. on the 29th. I'm going home. And the I'm going home is from uh, the defendant. 1255 a.m., is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And if I could direct your attention to the top of page 53. Yes, at uh, 1255 again, uh, see you later. At 102, your kids are cucking alone. At uh, 129, uh, 104 a.m., uh, I'm back in Mansfield. The kids are home alone. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. 